Jay Murder, what's going on, bro? Selling, selling. Were you just uh got busy with Rosenberg? How you feel about the battle? I'm gonna say like 3-0, man. Sound like 3-0. 3-0? Hell yeah. Okay. We had a little stumble myself, like for to be out there, you know what I'm saying? But it's I should not let that get to me. I got a little ball, but he had a stumble himself. Yeah, man. You know, he had a had a mean stumble, long pause, and it kind of threw away because you actually want to go to war with somebody who had a sharp sword on him, you feel me? But um, to me, man, you can tell it's levels to this shit. You can definitely peep that. When y'all see that battery, y'all can definitely tell the difference, man. Let me ask you, I mean, when it comes to chokes, because, I mean, you had a stumble in the third. It wasn't a choke. You, you, caught, you caught it right back. Do you feel as though people, instead of trying to take the time, you know, wasting a 30 seconds, a minute to, like, recover their bars, they just cut it short? Like, sir, whenever he has a stumble, you know, cut it he's short, just jersey, it, quick, definitely. and that's it. You think that's better, or do you think you should try to get it back? Um, it'll be better, I guess, to cut it just short like that, you mm -hmm. feel me? Especially when it's... What was running through your mind that, that caused you a little beef stumble? That he fucked up. Okay. You <laughs> feel me? Like, I couldn't believe that. Like, he okay. was talking wild shit, so, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, hey, he came to get busy. I mean, I don't blame him. That round, that first round I hit him with, anybody gonna choke to that. So. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, bro. Um, you guys got into a little uh, tense situation for a split second. First round, uh, he started rapping, he started poking you and stuff. You ain't like that. Um, did you think it was gonna escalate from there? I don't know. I mean, if it do, it do. Do I really think? I didn't give a fuck. I wasn't even thinking about it. Just at this point, I'm telling you, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. you feel me? And, um, he yeah, actually told me, you know what I'm saying, it'll be mutual respect upon on my, on my turn as well. So that's how we left it, you feel me? But I ain't really think he was going to get too crazy. And then you could always feel it. It was ain't feel nothing. Mm -hmm. There was a bunch of times during the battle that you were calling for the crowd to wake up or catch up. Do you feel as though if the crowd isn't reacting, they're either sleeping, or do you feel as though it's something that you need to assess with yourself in that's terms a, of delivery? That's a good question, actually. It's actually the, probably the first time I heard this type of shit. I like that. Um, well, um, off rip, I feel it's cool and all to stay quiet, I guess, to listen and all that. Mm -hmm. And maybe you not sleep. Because you can really tell when you, you know, sometimes I say it, I look in the crowd and you see people with the blank face. You feel me? Like, I sound real, like I'm talking to everybody, but I talk to the very few that I know that don't understand that type of shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But, um, nah, you gotta understand, they be sleep, man. <laughs> I'm telling you that, and the, it's the way I write is different, it's different, it's so fluent, and you're not understanding how I could put things together in there, it's just fluent, you don't realize it was a scheme until I... Yeah, it was a couple times, especially in the third round, where you said something that was pretty crazy, and no one reacted, then you broke it down, you said it again, like, yeah. catch up, and everyone was like, oh, You feel me? And, that, okay, and now okay. imagine every time I kept saying, wake up, and you find out there's something like that that you didn't catch. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I, I just feel like, if anything... I should do less myself on the whole wake up shit, but I feel like y'all gotta remember I'm dropping clues for y'all. Right. Wake up, get back to that bar, make sure I'm telling you wake up, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's highlighting where I left off. Now let me take it back to, uh, to Cortez real quick, man. How you feel about that performance? Um, My performance totally shitty. Shitty as hell. I ain't like it. Bars, on paper, but I feel like uh, if you ask me about who had better material, I'm gonna tell y'all one. If you talking about who grabbed the room and who actually had the whole package that night, he had that, you feel me? He came ready and all that. But he's still trash. <laughs> I fuck with him, Brooklyn, man. But he's trash. <laughs> for, for a while, there was a uh, a kind of, a, in my opinion, a certain view that was held over Spanish rappers in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Where people maybe didn't take him as seriously or what the case is, I'm not sure. Do you feel as though Spanish battle rappers get the same respect as everyone else? And and, and I'm not talking about in the KOTD setting, because that's like the yeah, yeah. United Nations of battle rap. Definitely I'm talking is. about where it's a certain, you know, demographic. I see what, you, I see what you're saying. Um, I feel the more you put mind to it, the more you're, you're, you're categorizing yourself, you feel me? So, I mean, you feel me? Like, if you, if you come here, you ain't gonna tell me, yo, you nice for a Spanish nigga. Back. You know what I mean? If I go, yeah, oh yeah, I'm the Spanish nigga. Of course they're gonna be, nah, I just categorize myself as the top. I say yes, I feel like I'm the nicest Puerto Rican, you feel me? But I'm not saying, oh yeah, the Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rico, shout out Puerto Rico, I put on, you feel me? Um, yeah, dude, you don't pay no attention to that shit, man. You be good, you be good. Where, where do you want to go from here? I mean, you're, you're still Everybody pretty new next. to the game, but you've already got a couple names under your belt that a lot of people wish they could get. Thanks. Um, Who would you yeah. like to battle in the future? Tate Rock. Okay. You feel me? Going straight to the top. K-Shine. Um, 
Me and man, hit me and holler. That's what we like the battle, hit me. Okay. And I don't mean anybody. Right now, I feel anybody that's already who y'all like. The top dudes y'all fucking with, I want them. Not gonna get it when you talk about future. I'm gonna get them sooner. You have no choice but to get used to it. I'm gonna be here for a while. I feel you. There's certain people that, you know what I'm saying, get acknowledged on the PGs. Yeah. Do you feel as though you're on that level, but you're just not giving that stage to shine or what? Yeah, I definitely feel I'm above that level. Do you think the, that you can eat their food? Uh-huh. The PG cats that is on now, you yeah. think that you better than them? Yeah, yeah, I smoke them all. So, hell yeah, man. Shout out Steams and Chess, and I smoke them. Fuck with Chess, I smoke them. <laughs> so, you know, I like the kid good. Anybody else too, man? I smoke them all. I feel, I feel. If you, it's all about the work. You go check the tapes, bro. I've been doing this for a minute. You feel me? That's just crazy. Concrete, 2011. Like with Concrete Animals, DNA had that shit. It was back, back, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So things. I definitely got the. I see my progression myself and got to evolve a little bit. And now I just became this monster. Not just anybody, anybody would get it. Trust me. Whatever you with, I got it. I'm matching that. You want a pen game? I'm gonna match your pen. But the moon, it's gonna spark even fire. It's gonna be crazy, though. I'm telling you, y'all gonna see me a lot. I'm. Mean, this is just the beginning.